Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. Today we are finishing up some projects. I'm finishing up the last garden bed in Center Camp with mulch. I'm getting a few other projects finished. We're going to take this tank and move it over there by the laundry room. It's going to collect the laundry water because we need a bigger tank. I just feel like we're always emptying that small 50 gallon barrel and this will allow us more room to, or more water storage room. But we have to leave this tank here connected to collect the rest of the rainwater until we get this all diverted that way. One, two, three, don't trip over the blocks. I'm kind of glad this is all moving because we have to redo this over There's here been... somewhere. They're digging underneath. There you go, right there. See all these? That's I think squirrels and rabbits all the way down. I'm gonna put cement in and just do a dry pour and spray it down. That way they can't dig through it. So this has to all come out and be redone. Okay, Jeff, remove the gate so we can get this tote through. We measured it and it will fit through the barely. This is 40 this way here and the gate area with the gate removed is 42. We might have to pause again. It's starting to rain, but I cleared out this area here. So we're going to put the totes here in this area. I haven't figured out how we're going to place them just yet, but I'll figure that out. Look at you with your raincoat, aren't you so cute? Yeah, Momo's just staying inside. <laughs> oh, I bought her that new raincoat. I should get it. Yeah. Look at you, Kellogg. But hers doesn't have a hood like his does. But he doesn't wear he his doesn't hood like, anyways. He doesn't like the hood. Yeah, Momo doesn't like anything on top of her head either. Look at that. Aren't you so cute? <laughs> like, get it off me. Get it off me. It'll protect you, Kellogg. And you're going to come in here anyways, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, no. Yeah, that is very dark and ominous. Mm -hmm. I want it to rain a lot, mm -hmm. but what? So we'll wait until this passes. Right, Kellogg? Wait until it passes. You keeping an eye out for it? I was just telling Jeff that I think we're going to move these tuts because it blocks this aisleway a lot and we're constantly coming through here and have to squeeze past. So these, I think, once we get this wall painted, we're gonna go here. And then the other two totes are gonna be facing towards us and gonna go here and here on this side of the tank. We have rainwater catchment off of the shipping container and this one here is for the shower, but we still haven't done this roof here, the utility laundry room. So we want to put a gutter, or I wanna put a gutter here and collect off of this roof. And those can go into those tanks that we're getting ready to put over there. Oh, look at all those swirling clouds up there. That looks ominous. Omina, omina, omina. Yeah, I don't know. It might be setting in. We might have to pause this until tomorrow, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll give us another break. I think it's supposed to. We have no, some extra gutter laying around, this so we're going to use until this. we get the other one connected in, and then we can just hook it right in. That way this tank can still collect water since it's raining. Is that going to be enough? It'll be enough to get to the corner. Okay, cool. And, and, this will... and then we can just take that piece, because I mean, up I here... Still, I still think we'll need the other... Yeah, we just need to get it to this corner up here, and then I think we'll be good. And then we'll need another corner. Yeah. I have, I think we have another corner in there. No, we need the opposite corner. Right, we're just trying to figure out the angle, make sure it's high enough and above the tank, because we got to connect it into the tank, obviously. This is where the water's going to be flowing. But you want to come across this side, not that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be easier to come just straight over here to this corner here. We could even put some kind of plank. Well, we need, you know, we need to build a framework. To right, it. yeah. It'll be considerably up in the air. Right, so we'll have to build I mean, unless, some kind of framework. Because we're jetting over, so there's nothing else we can do. We have to do some some, some kind of support. Yeah. 
I need to get a jacket. It's getting quite chilly. <laughs> Feels nice though. Do you need a mud bath? I've got the world's largest mud hole. I know, so do we. <laughs> it's weird, like both of them went down about the same amount. So yeah. I have a feeling once we, if it fills up like two or three more times. It'll settle. Yeah, it's just, I think what it needs to do is soak into the ground yeah. and make the ground saturated. Exactly, we'll see how it's soaked up like this far above the water line. Yeah. Yeah, all that needs to fill up. The pineapple, right. the chickens really like pineapple. Do they really? Nice. Awesome. Yeah, and I got a couple of, I stole a couple of live mealworms out of Sue's thing for the gecko for him. <laughs> oh, nice. Although I set them on top of the trash can and I Live mealworms? They were. Yeah. They're not live, they don't look alive anymore. They were. Well, they don't move much. No, I set them down on top of the trash can for about one minute. In the sun? And it was hot. And I, 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 I <laughs> so early, they just came out of the fridge. You can't handle that. Oh, jeez. Well, whatever. <laughs> I they, they eat dried ones, so it'll be fine. I caught a little baby praying mantis. Oh, did you? Yeah. Caught it? Did you release it? In a jar. It? Oh. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed it things. <laughs> yeah, you're like a 12 year old boy that catches things and put them in jars. <laughs> what is it, Momo? <laughs> so we went to the hardware store and picked up more PEX stuff. Got another roll of PEX, some elbows. What are you doing, huh? Yes, you always want to be in the camera. Now that we have the tank moved, we have to reconnect it back into the system. Yep, these are all the parts that we got to reconnect everything. Hopefully we got everything, but we're not too far from the hardware store if we have to go back. But it will be too late today. But we're gonna see what we can get done. We have the insert and then the reducer. Now we're gonna put the PEX elbow connector so the PEX is going to go down into the ground and we're going to dig it around and connect it into the laundry room. It's getting it taped off first. Okay, as long as it's facing down, or sort of down. Sort of down. Yeah, it can be facing a little bit that way too. Wait, I think it can go a little bit more. Do you want to turn it? I was going along breaking up the surface and Jeff was clearing out the trench. But we've got the trench done all the way to the laundry room and it's about a foot deep. We're installing this utility port here for the low point drain. I dug the hole for it but got a little dirt in the trench so I need to go back and clean this out. We have the line run. So the last thing to do is just turn the pump on, make sure everything is running, and then we're gonna insulate it, make sure there's no leaks, and then bury it. And this is what this side looks like. And there is the low point valve to drain it for the winter. And I have to drill a access hole because that's the thumb hole to open up the cap, but I have to drill another hole so that this can come through and then hook to the pump. It's a new day and a beautiful day today. No clouds in sight though. So we're filling this tank manually with this tank and also transferring some from the large 3000 into here because we want to have some water in here before getting the system started. Speaking of filling tanks, we've already removed all the gutter system here and shortened it up. Jeff put a new piece in here that was a little longer because this was too short. We needed one that extended a little past the shipping container. 
And then he put the end cap there, the downpipe. It's gonna go on right here, and then over with PVC pipe to this tank. Wish this tank was closer, but it is what it is. Jeff just cut this off because it was twisted the wrong way, so this pipe here would have been sticking outwards. So we had to cut this off, and it's fine because it shortens up and makes everything higher. And then we can just squeeze the other thing in here. We're gonna dry fit it now. Well, turn that with the... Okay, we got a 10-footer and a 20-footer. Oh my god, that looks like a circus is in town. Does that look safe? <laughs> we're only going three miles, so it should be fine. And we're going to be on a back road most of the way. We made it back safely with the piping. Now we just got to connect it all together. Got it done. Everything is put together and there's a slight lean to it. We have the water filling up now and we're testing to make sure there's no leaks. It's definitely not the prettiest, but sometimes it's more important that things are functional than pretty. And this is definitely functional and it's working, which is important. And there's no leaks. It's filling up the tank now from that top area. Where we got the hose. Seeing it for about 10 15 minutes just to make sure that we don't spring any leaks and everything holds together. So far, so good. Yay! I'm excited that this is finally done. I feel like we definitely had to choose the windiest day to do this crap. <laughs> Last thing we have to test for leaks is this area here. And then, like I said, we're going to insulate it, then bury it. Another day, another project. It's a beautiful day. And actually, it's part of the same project of the water tank. We took a shortcut and laid garden hose instead of PEX. So I'm pulling back all the gravel. I'm not done yet. And then we're going to trench this out and lay PEX in. It'll just last much longer. And here we've got a T in to this line here so that this will work. But we also put garden hose here. That's how this was working, and it needs to be pecked. So Jeff is digging out the trench. Wow, trenching can be a hard job, especially if you have gravel to move as well. This is just the gravel. We haven't even trenched yet over here. Ugh. Probably shouldn't have taken a shortcut and done it right the first time. Then we wouldn't have to be doing all this, but oh well. It's getting done now. We're on a journey. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Okay, I'm exhausted and it's starting to get a little warm too. I've got the trench all the way to the deck. I just have to finish cleaning it out. Ugh. I'm exhausted. <laughs> got this line completely done. And I've cut and bypassed the old line and capped it off and put in the new line. Now it'll go to that post that I just showed you over there. This is where the other pump exited out and we might actually 
add a line here and this would be just basically the drinking water in the RV and then it goes to here I'm getting ready to put the tea in here and then that'll feed this line that is done obviously we still have to bury but nothing is getting buried until we run the system for several days and I get everything insulated like I stated before right Mumu it's almost done I'm excited cut that line Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna have to cut a section out of this, actually. Oh, yeah, just a tiny bit. Oh, shoot. There we go. Whoops. Rings. Yeah. Feels like it's harder to do on these older lines. The three quarter inch, yeah, seem to be tougher. <sighs> uh oh, I might have to cut that a little bit more. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, put the ring on it. Yeah, let me put a ring on it. Um. Yeah, wow, this is. Quarter, another quarter inch, half, half an inch. Yeah. A little at a time is better than too much. Mm. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna pull mine up and you pull yours up at the same time and then we'll meet. Up or up? Yeah, up. One, two, three, up. Up, up, up. Pull it up. There you go. Okay, now push it down. There we go. Look at that. Amazing. Oops. This needs to go that way. Yeah. All right, let me crimp everything. Ta da. Okay. Yay! Now just insulation and bury it, but definitely gonna test it for a couple days. Make sure that there's no leaks. And I'm thinking of putting junction boxes here so we can check these uh, areas here. I know I'm putting them where the valves are, but I might also put them here because if it's gonna leak anywhere, it would be these junctions. And that way I can just pull the lid off and check them. Gonna install the pump, but before we do that, we have to dig a little more because we have to find the pipe that runs here. It's the same one that's over there. And we've got to put the outlet for the pump and tee it into that. All right, just got back from the hardware store and Nicole's back there sitting with the octopus <laughs> and all the pool noodles. And we got the rest of the supplies for finishing the apex and insulating. Okay, the moment of truth has come. Everything is connected to the pump and we have to turn on the inlet pipe. Jeff's gonna cut on the inlet. And that should pressurize that and we'll give that a few moments to check. No leak so far, huh? Yeah, this is not gonna be as pressurized. It's gonna have some pressure, obviously, because it's coming from the tank but it's not gonna be as pressurized as the rest of the line. So we have to see if it's even making it to the pump. I'm checking the low point valve. All right, that's not leaking. We're good there. Okay, and he's gonna cut the pump on. There it goes. Oh, 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 a leak already, <laughs> right there. Okay, let's tighten up that spot right there. Uh oh, another leak here. This is leaking the strainer. Do we really need that strainer? We do, actually, don't we? Didn't we have a problem with that strainer leaking before? The adapter that was on there wasn't seated right and it wasn't going on, so we had to use a different part. That means we had to find a different part to get them to connect. Nothing ever is that easy, is it? And I cleaned out the filter the strainer that was leaking as well. So hopefully that fixed the problem. And now Jeff's just gonna tighten down everything. Hopefully no leaks, fingers crossed. We had a problem with a leak here before and it's the same part, this one here, that's leaking. I think it just isn't tightened all the way. Do you wanna release some pressure? Let me release some pressure. That way it will stop leaking. Okay. Nope, still leaking. I can see it. 
It's clearly leaking. So many darn pieces here. Now it's, yeah, that's the problem with having too many connections. I, never, I think we found pulled? the problem. I unscrewed the top and there's no tape on that. And it's a threaded piece, so it definitely needs tape. So, we're putting the tape on it now. Does that have tape here? I hope that does. That's that's been there though. It should. All this has been here. Yeah. Except for the this part. Yeah, I don't understand why that one was never taped. It's weird. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now he's gonna get that screwed back in. Okay. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> Take two. Are your fingers crossed, Mimu? Yes. Yours too, Kellogg? Yes? Alright, is it working? Any leaks? No leaks so far. Let's plug it in and see if it pressurizes. There it goes. Well, it's not dripping immediately like it was before. Yeah, that's, that's a good sign. No leaks so far. But we have to wait till the system completely pressurizes. No leaks? No. How's it nice. amazing? I can't get water either. <laughs> I think the basket over there was leaking though. Yeah, so thank God this part's not leaking. Okay. Alright, we got it. It was just that piece that wasn't taped. I don't see a leak on this joint. This is good. And I don't... And this is not leaking. Okay. Of course. <laughs> I don't know if it's more pressure than before because we're not using garden hoses and we're using PEX, but this one's leaking. I think bring the uh, wrench over here. This needs to be tightened. It's just uh, this connector here just needs to be tightened a little bit more. Is the pump on? It is? Okay. Test number four. Yeah. Uh, nope, no leaks. So same thing with this one. Didn't have enough tape on it. Okay, the only thing I see is the strainer is still leaking. We might have to just replace that strainer. Because it was leaking before. Yeah. I think that was our issue. Off, huh? <laughs> no, we need a strainer on there. I'd rather yeah. there be a strainer. Okay, well that's it for this video. I'll let you know how it turns out on the connectors. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. If you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, it'll be over here. Thanks again for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.